It's amazing to witness U.S. corporations finally taking decisive action to propel the battery sector to revolutionary heights. We all comprehend the harsh reality. Batteries have consistently been the most vulnerable component in the electric vehicle ecosystem. Not the innovative design, not the impressive range, but the enormous cost of producing and replacing them. Ask any automotive salesperson and they'll probably evade the inquiry. Why? Because nobody has succeeded to bring battery replacement expenses down to affordable levels consumers can manage. But now the 24 megawatt semi-solid state battery promises to accomplish just that thanks to its streamlined design with semi-solid state components, reduced parts, and sandwich style construction. The outcome, decreased fire risk, simpler recycling, a remarkably affordable cost of just 6 cents per watt hour, and the capability to fully charge in just 4 minutes. But the laboratory is straightforward to discuss about. Mass manufacturing is the genuine test. Charge-discharge cycles must be confirmed with real-world information and few producers are willing to openly reveal battery degradation. But if 24 million can demonstrate its longevity, U.S. electric vehicles may finally escape free from reliance on Asian battery manufacturers and budget-friendly models like the 11,800 BYD Seagull or the 24,400 Xping G6 Long Range will never become a threat to the American EV marketplace. Could this finally become the turning point for the U.S. to dominate in battery manufacturing? Welcome to Danny Nova. Today we're taking a detailed look at the semi-solid state lithium-ion battery innovation developed by 24M. 24M, abbreviated for 24 Molecules, is a battery technology company headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. They've distinguished themselves with a revolutionary semi-solid platform engineered to address the four biggest obstacles in the battery industry. Reducing down costs, enhancing safety, increasing energy density, and optimizing recyclability. So, how does 24M semi-solid battery transform the 6 cents per watt hour price into reality? This 0.0606 per watt hour assertion is universally regarded as an extremely suspicious claim lacking rigorous scientific proof, a solid verifiable foundation or confirmation. Any basic market analyst with even minimal knowledge also understands that current lithium-ion battery pack prices sit at approximately $115 per kilowatt hour means 0.115 per watt hour. So a $0.06.06 per watt hour headline price implies a massive 48% reduction over the already optimized current expenses. A proposition that remains entirely questionable, implausible and impossible with today's global battery manufacturing innovation at scale. Even leading battery researchers and seasoned market research professionals in their most optimistic and cited forecasts only anticipate that average global battery pack prices will gradually decline to below $100 per kilowatt hour by the year 2025. So where does 0.06 per watt hour figure originate from? And why is 24 million's battery capable to accomplish this achievement? Remember back at Battery Day 2020 Elon Musk and Tesla consistently pursued dramatic expense reduction and significantly enhanced battery efficiency, publicly targeting an ambitious $60 per kilowatt goal at Battery Day 2020. And just five years later, that ambitious objective has fully materialized in published research. And we believe this extremely affordable price point derives from large-scale research experiments because realistically it would be nearly impossible to achieve at an internal or pilot manufacturing scale. Imagine a battery facility as a construction site where instead of laying 20 painstaking rows of tiny bricks, brick, mortar, brick, mortar, workers now install a few massive precast panels that raise the full height of the wall in a single lift. That is essentially what 24M semi-solid process accomplishes. It cuts the number of individual placements in half, eliminating away hours of labor and slashing the energy bills that normally keep the lights, ovens, and precision robots operating. Because each panel is poured as one dense slab, it ends up twice as thick as a traditional brick layer. So, the same concrete foundation supports far more material. Pay for the base once, carry double the load, and the expense per square foot or per watt hour plummets. The advantage compounds inside the vehicle itself. Where a typical electric SUV conceals hundreds of brick-sized cells under the floor, 24M replaces the clutter with half a dozen wall-sized sheets, the company's so-called carpet components. Fewer parts mean fewer welds, wires, screws, and cooling plates which quietly reduce 10 to 15% off the final bill while also removing dozens of potential failure points. The streamlined approach even transforms the factory. With less real estate and equipment to finance, the company can construct a plant for roughly half the cost, then pass the savings directly to automakers. This battery can operate iron-based LFP powders, high nickel blends, 
or even future sodium chemistries without replacing out its tooling. That agility protects pack prices from wild swings in metal markets. And it appears up where it matters most. A 75 kilowatt hour battery that costs about $8,600 today could drop to roughly $4,500. A couple that reduction with a $7,500 federal credit and a mid-size electric crossover can undercut a gasoline SUV right on the showroom floor. Because the panels are manufactured in Massachusetts, the pack also clears new regulations that penalize Chinese components, so more models stay eligible for incentives. Best of all, the same design that makes the battery affordable lets it add 200 miles of range in 4 minutes and keep functioning in minus 40 degrees winters. So, how can they demonstrate that a 4-minute charging time isn't just marketing hype? It's an undeniable reality that even the most advanced semi-solid state batteries on the market today can only charge from 15% to 90% in up to 18 minutes. Likewise, Cattle's publicly announced fastest charging innovation delivers 320 miles in just 5 minutes, but it doesn't achieve a complete 100% charge in one session. And as everyone understands, Tesla's cutting-edge superchargers still require 15 minutes to add 200 miles. You might not believe it yet. Take a glimpse. Cattle has just unveiled its second-generation Shinshin battery capable of providing 323 miles, 520 kilometers of range and only 5 minutes of charging. That extra minutes difference demonstrates that a 4-minute boost is not only feasible, but entirely within reach. If there's one thing that still prevents people back from switching to electric vehicles, it's not the range, it's the charging duration. But what if you could charge 200 miles of range in just 4 minutes? And you don't require a custom-built megawatt charging station. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries or even solid-state designs, these batteries utilize a proprietary electrolyte known as Eternalite. While the company is understandably secretive about the specifications, after all, revealing too much could mean handing the keys to competitors. What's publicly known is already jaw-dropping. Eternalite possesses three times the ionic conductivity of standard electrolytes. That means ions, the tiny charge carriers that flow between the anode and cathode, can move way faster, resulting in dramatically shorter charging durations. According to internal testing, 24M components can add 200 miles of range in under 4 minutes, and they don't require exotic hardware to accomplish it. Unlike other fast charging batteries that rely on 1 megawatt ultra high power chargers, which are expensive, rare, and often require special infrastructure, 24 battery charges just fine on standard 400 VT and 800 volt platforms. That means no major overhauls to the grid, no custom cooling systems, just plug in and operate. That alone is revolutionary, but it becomes even better. Thanks to the Eternalite Electrolyte, 24M's batteries perform incredibly well in cold environments, one of the Achilles heels of most lithium batteries. Standard lithium ion components lose 25 to 30% of their capacity at 0 degrees Celsius and perform terribly at minus 20 degrees Celsius. But Eternalite keeps on functioning. In testing at minus 40 degrees Celsius, 24M components maintained over 80% of their capacity in full energy transfer. That's virtually unheard of and it makes these batteries perfect for cold weather markets like Canada, Northern Europe or even military operations. Think about how we refuel gasoline vehicles. A typical gas stop takes about 5 minutes. Until now, EVs just couldn't compete with that speed. You had to plan your routes around charger availability and wait times. But with this innovation the EV charging experience becomes just as fast and convenient as gas, maybe even faster. More exciting, this performance doesn't come at the expense of cost or safety. In fact, the fast charging capability is a direct result of the chemistry, not brute force. Eternalite enables high current flow without overheating, and it pairs with 24M's proprietary Imperio separator to prevent the risk of thermal runaway. This means faster charging without the fire hazard that often plagues high-speed charging designs. By eliminating the traditional bottlenecks of charging time and cold weather performance, 24M is knocking down two of the biggest barriers blocking widespread EV adoption. And the fact that this can be accomplished without exotic infrastructure means the path to mass deployment is wide open. So why can it eliminate China's LFP technology? We must acknowledge that China currently controls more than 80% of global LFP battery manufacturing. At the same time, LFP batteries accounted for 82.8% of all battery installations in China in April 2025, and cattle and BYD remain the industry leaders, holding 38% and 17.2% of the worldwide market share, respectively. Besides, we're probably heard all the excitement around solid-state batteries, 
how they're the next big innovation, promising higher energy density, better safety, and longer lifespan. But they also come with sky-high expenses, slow manufacturing ramp-ups, and persistent issues with degradation. Rather than go down the solid-state route, 24M has developed something entirely different. Semi-solid lithium-ion batteries. This simplified process opens the door to thicker electrodes, meaning higher energy density and longer range per charge. In lab testing, 24 million batteries have achieved a stunning 660WH per kilogram, far beyond the 400 w hour per kilogram benchmark. That's considered transformative for aerospace, high-performance EVs and electric vertical, takeoff and landing aircraft. But great design isn't just about performance. It's about solving real-world pain points. And 24 million accomplishes that with recyclability and safety in mind too. Let's discuss about recycling. One of the biggest bottlenecks in the battery sector. Most lithium-ion batteries today require harsh chemical processes to recover usable materials. Costly, inefficient, and environmentally damaging. But thanks to 24M's Life Forever architecture, there's a smarter approach. Because the electrodes are free from binders and formed in thick cast layers, they can be mechanically separated at end of life. No fire, no acid baths, no black mass. This allows for up to 98% material recovery all through a clean and scalable process. It's a true step toward a closed-loop battery economy, easier thermal management. It's simpler, safer, and reduces system expenses by an estimated 30% per kilowatt hour. Even better, it scales. Manufacturing is already semi-automated and production ready, paving the way for rapid adoption. And it's manufactured in America, ready to challenge not just the limits of what's possible, but also the global supply chain that's long held the EV industry hostage. What do Elon Musk and Tesla say about this semi-solid state battery technology? With all the standout advantages discussed, ranging from higher energy density and improved safety to scalable, cost-effective manufacturing, it's no surprise that semi-solid state batteries are starting to attract attention from major players in the EV sector. But what about Tesla and Elon Musk? The name synonymous with cutting-edge innovation. What do they have to say about semi-solid state battery technology? And more importantly, have they started implementing them? Surprisingly, Elon Musk has never publicly endorsed semi-solid state batteries the way he's hyped solid state batteries in the past. In Tesla's battery day presentations and recent investor briefings, the focus remains on the company's 4,680 battery components, a next-gen version of traditional lithium-ion technology. There's been no official mention of semi-solid state batteries as part of Tesla's core development strategy. However, just because Elon isn't discussing about it doesn't mean Tesla isn't paying attention. As with many disruptive technologies, Tesla tends to test and experiment behind the scenes and only goes public once a solution is close to commercial viability. Some industry rumors suggest Tesla may have explored partnerships with US-based semi-solid battery startups, but ultimately walked away due to material cost concerns at the time. It's worth noting that Musk's philosophy has always focused on scalable practicality, meaning a technology not only has to function, but it must be mass-producible at a reasonable expense. Solid-state batteries, for all their promise, still struggle in that department. Semi-solid batteries, on the other hand, are inching closer to meeting those real-world requirements. At this point, Tesla has not yet deployed semi-solid-state batteries in any commercial vehicles, but key Tesla suppliers, particularly Panasonic and CL, are actively investing in hybrid battery technologies, including semi-solid variants. This suggests that Tesla is keeping the door open especially as competitors like NIO and Toyota have already announced plans to pilot semi-solid batteries in long-range electric vehicles. Elon Musk once famously stated, solid-state batteries sound great, but they're insanely hard to manufacture at scale. That's why we're focused on tech we can build. Now, while he wasn't referring directly to semi-solid batteries, his words inadvertently support the semi-solid approach, which bridged the gap between current-gen lithium-ion and fully solid-state designs. It's safer, more flexible, and far more viable for mass adoption. Some industry analysts believe that in the coming years as Tesla maxes out the potential of the 4680 and the pressure to improve weight, range, and energy density intensifies, they'll be forced to revisit semi-solid state batteries as a logical next step. So, while Tesla hasn't made a move yet, one thing's clear Elon Musk is monitoring. And with the current pace of innovation, it wouldn't be surprising if Tesla suddenly announced a future Model 3 or next-gen Roadster powered by semi-solid batteries built on a quiet partnership already in the works. It's an inevitable choice if not a leading-edge trend in technology. 
because in just a few years when the Earth's average temperature climbs close to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll realize just how vital electric vehicles really are. It's no coincidence that governments around the world are actively promoting EV adoption and offering generous incentives like the $7,500 federal tax credit in the U.S., a prime example. It's a smart policy, but it brings with it a significant challenge. The looming scarcity of critical materials used in lithium batteries. Supply simply won't keep up. Do you think Tesla will eventually abandon solid-state dreams and pivot to semi-solid-state batteries? Especially if they're cheaper, safer, and faster to charge. Why hasn't Elon Musk jumped on this opportunity yet? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our content. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Danny Nova and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.